Well, it's that time of year again. Everything's getting busier, we're all praying that it snows. It is the most wonderful time of the year. And as we draw up to it, and as things start getting more busy, and, you know, between Christmas shopping, for presents, for food, carol services, nativity plays, school productions, church productions, so many things start to come into play. But one of my favourite things about Christmas, personally, and I'm not a big Christmas fan, if you know me, you'll know that I own a black hat that says Bar Homburg across the front of it because I am a Grinch, but... One of my favourite things about Christmas is the ability to slow down and give thanks. And we give thanks a lot over Christmas. We give thanks for the food we eat, the presents we get from friends and family. We give thanks for the time off work. If we're off, we give thanks for all these different things. But we have to remember that it's Christmas. Christ was born, literally in the name, Christmas. And it's the time to give thanks for Christ. It's the time to give thanks, and we do it in carols, we do it, um, you know, we write it in cards and things like that, but to actually take time aside and give thanks for the birth of Christ. For from the birth of Christ came the salvation, which brought all of us to where we are today. So I encourage everybody, take some time over the Christmas period, whether now or on Christmas Day, as a family or on your own, to just give thanks to God, quietly, peacefully, loudly, shout it, sing it, whatever, but give thanks to the Lord for our salvation. Merry Christmas, everyone.